This has literally never happened before. Here I am though. Nothing ever looks good, but it tastes good. Like, I don't know what to say. What's up you guys, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to bring you a bit of a different video. I have not done, oh my God, I'm losing my balance. I have not done a video like this before on my channel, but there's a first time for everything. And I thought this will be fun because if you have watched my channel before and you've seen my vlogs, I get a lot of really good feedback on my cooking content and the like home cooking with Hannah segments that I throw into my vlogs. So, I wanted to make a whole video of kind of like a week of meals and a week of me just like the things that I'm eating but not necessarily what I eat in a week because I'm not going to be filming every single thing that I'm eating only the things that I'm making if that makes sense I had this idea this morning while I was eating my oatmeal after I made my oatmeal because it's like my favorite oatmeal recipe and I eat it all the time and I was like oh my gosh Which of course I get this idea after I prepared my food, but I, I love that oatmeal so much. I eat it so often. I'll probably make it another time of the week and I'll show you, but that's just kind of an example of what I mean, like what I am making for myself to eat this week, okay? Today's Monday, I'm about to make dinner. And what I like to do when I'm cooking dinner, I'm only cooking for myself. I like to take a recipe and I make the full recipe. I don't cut it in half or anything. I kind of see it as meal prepping. I'll make the dinner one night and then just eat the leftovers for the rest of the week. So that's what I'm doing tonight. I'm gonna make the full recipe for this chicken and rice meal that my mom made a ton when I lived at home. It's from the cookbook. I'll show you in a second. If you're familiar with the cookbook, you know what I'm talking about, but if you're not, hold on. I just find that that's so much easier. I spend some time cooking at the beginning of the week and then I can just easily throw the stuff in the microwave or the oven or whatever and heat it up. It's just easier. Right, Charlie? This is my chef assistant. That's what I'm about to do for dinner. I started filming this in not my kitchen because my kitchen has virtually no natural light and that is one thing I wish that I had about this apartment. It's okay, I love my apartment, but it would be nice to have some natural light in the kitchen so that I could film in there and make it look better. Let's head over to the kitchen and we'll get started with our first meal of this video of the week. Welcome to my tiny kitchen. This is where all the magic happens. If I cook a recipe that turns out well, it's magic. And this is where that happens. Today's recipe is coming from my cookbook. My mom gave me this for Christmas a couple years ago before I moved out and it has a bunch of my favorite childhood recipes. I have been making these on the vlogs. Today we're introducing a new one. I have not made this one yet because I was nervous about it because this one, most of the cooking is done in the oven, which I mean is a good thing because it's pretty easy, but if you're new here, I don't have a real oven. I have a convection oven, not a convention oven in my apartment. It did not come with an oven. So I always have to adjust the temperature and sometimes cook things a little bit longer. So I just didn't know how this was gonna go. You're supposed to, at the end of this, after we prepared it, cover with foil then bake at 350 Fahrenheit for one hour, which I always minus 25 degrees off of that to account for this oven, but then sometimes have to bake it a little bit longer. I don't even know why the f I'm reducing the temperature at that point, but whatever. We'll figure that out later. First, I just need to actually prepare everything. So I like to have my headphones on and listen to something while I'm cooking or else I get so mind numbingly bored. <laughs> I just can't, like I have to have something else going on. It is what it is. I just, that's what I do to make cooking more enjoyable for myself because I get some entertainment time and I'm cooking also. So it's like two birds, one stone. All right, let's get into the ingredients and then we will begin. Okay, everyone, let's get into it. First, I'm starting out with a mixing bowl and I'm adding three quarters of a cup of uncooked rice. Next, I'm adding in a quarter of a teaspoon of ground black pepper, a can of cream of mushroom soup. And then after I'm done with that, filling it up with water, adding that soup can full of water into there as well. Next, I'm gonna prepare the mushrooms. I'm taking a few pieces and just chopping them up enough to fill a half a cup and then I'm adding that half cup into the mixing bowl with everything else. Mixing all that up and then that is our base. That is step one. 
Step two is gonna be cooking the chicken thighs. So adding some olive oil to a pan. Sorry about the raw chicken. I'm gonna probably blur these. Adding the chicken thighs in and then I'm taking my envelope of dry onion soup mix and I'm just kind of sprinkling that over them. Flipping them over so that, you know, I get the soup mix on all of it. And I am just browning the chicken slightly in the frying pan. I then took the mixture from the mixing bowl and I poured it into a nine by 13 baking dish and just added the chicken in right on top. No special method here. Covering it with a little foil and it is ready to go in the oven. For a conventional oven, you're gonna bake at 350 Fahrenheit for one hour. For me and my convection oven, I'm doing 325 Fahrenheit for one hour. All right, see you guys in an hour. This is about to be the moment of truth. I have 19 seconds, let's see if it's done. absolutely done. They're done. Haha. -ha. That's what I My problem with cooking is I don't know how to plate things. So nothing I make looks appetizing. It's going to be like that for the rest of the video. I wish I was one of those girlies that like everything they make looks super aesthetic and perfect. I don't know how to do that. So maybe I will improve in the future, but for now, this is what we got. I'm so proud of myself right now. Okay, I'm gonna taste it. This is the final verdict. I've done it again. I've done it again. I just don't, I've done it again. Success, 10 out of 10. Hello everyone, surprise, I got a haircut. I vlogged it in another video. I don't know if this video is gonna be up before or after that one, my reset from travel vlog, but it's in there. But it's Tuesday, I just got home and I'm hungry and it's time to make lunch. I'm gonna make one of my favorite sandwiches of all time. I made this up because I just was putting random shit together and I loved it so much that there was a point in my life that I ate it like every single day. I haven't had it in a while. And then I finally went to Trader Joe's yesterday and I got the bread I needed and I got some avocado. So I'm back, bitch. Let's do it. I showed <laughs> me making this sandwich before one time and I got absolutely clowned for how much mayo I put on it. I would like to just address that and say I f with mayo heavy. You don't have to put that much mayo, but I love it. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, one avocado, arguably the most important ingredient. No, this, this is the most important. This bread is absolutely critical, critical. Crushed red pepper flakes and then ham and cheese. This is very easy. All right, starting off with two big ass pieces of bread. Okay, it's a little bit better. You can see at least everything now. All right, we have our bread, cheese, ham. Any kind will do for ham, I don't know. I use American cheese. First slice, I usually have to use two slices because that's what it takes to cover the whole piece of bread. I think I usually use two pieces of ham. Whatever, it's good enough. Now, I'm gonna take these two pieces of bread with the cheese and the ham, and I'm gonna toast them open-faced in my toaster. I don't really know, it's like four or five minutes. While that's toasting, I'm gonna cut the avocado. I think I used the whole thing. I like, I'm trying to remember how to make this. All right, anyway, so I have the avocado, which by the way, this is such a beautiful avocado. I'm gonna take my knife and slice so it makes it easier to lay these pieces down. This is truly a thick ass avocado. Do I need this whole thing? I like avocado. Oh, it smells like burning cheese. Oh, f shit. Shit. Oh, shit. I do not want that to go off. Shit, 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 shit. This has literally never happened before. Here I am, though. Shit. Oh my god, it's so bad. 
have like every fan in here on, so I think I should be okay. But oh good lord. The cheese melted off and there was a hole in the bread and it fell directly onto the little things in the toaster that like heat up. Course. This is me saying that for some reason I thought I was filming when I was assembling this, but I wasn't. We're just going back to business as usual because I'm hungry and I need to finish my sandwich and I want to eat it. So anyway, I took the pieces of bread out of the toaster after they were done being on fire and I put mayo on one side and now I'm taking crushed red pepper and absolutely dousing the entire thing, both sides with red pepper flakes. <laughs> completely worth setting the shoes on fire. Good morning, let's make my coffee. My typical and favorite recipe consists of oat milk, but I don't have oat milk right now, I have almond milk, so I'm gonna do the same thing, but just with the almond milk, which I don't think tastes as good. But I bought the almond milk and I need to use it. I don't wanna waste it. This is where the magic happens. creamer again. I used to use that. Maybe that would help if I'm using almond milk. But I have to use so much of the hazelnut creamer that I feel like just like overloading it with that and I don't want to because it's like not the best. It just tastes good. Oh well. Hello, back in the kitchen to make lunch. I feel like the majority of what I actually make in a week is either breakfast or lunch because like I said, I make one dinner usually at the beginning of the week and then eat it the rest of the time. So the majority of the time that I'm actually making stuff is for lunch. Today, I'm gonna make avocado toast. And I have not made avocado toast in kind of a hot minute. I used to eat avocado toast like every single day. I haven't had it in a while. I feel like I go through phases where I eat something every day for like a month or two and then I just don't eat it for like three years. I feel like a lot of people are like that, but that's how I have been with avocado toast, but I miss it and I'm craving it right now, strangely enough, so I'm gonna make it. These set bones look kind of dumb. I'm sitting on my head right now when I'm not listening to anything. I think I remember how I make it, all the things I put in. I think I have all the ingredients. <laughs> how long is Texas Pete good for? Oh shit, 9, 20, 23. Let's go. Ooh, I need olive oil, olive oil, salt, pepper, crushed red pepper, lemon juice, and Texas beef. I also did try to clean this thing as much as possible since my burning incident yesterday, so I'm really, really hoping it doesn't still reek. I also still have my avocado from yesterday. It's only slightly browned on the surface, so I think I'll be good. I need an egg. I'm gonna fry the egg. Once the egg is frying, I'm gonna put a piece of my favorite, you guys guessed it, San Francisco sourdough from Trader Joe's. Let's go.
girls, we're back again for another lunch. Today I'm making an omelet for lunch. Nothing crazy, but I do love a good omelet. Usually I, first of all, will use three eggs. I only have two. We're gonna work with what we have. That's the theme of today's lunch. I have one piece of ham left. I usually use, I think two maybe. And then I use cheese. We're lacking in ingredients right now, but I do have these mushrooms from the other day that I used some of for my dinner. So I'm gonna wash a couple of these pieces up because they look to still be good. I'm gonna wash them up, chop some up, and put them in there as well because I love mushrooms so much. I haven't made an omelet before with mushrooms in it, so I'm excited. This is really the star of the show for my omelets. This chopped dried onions stuff. It's just like I douse the whole thing in this. And then just salt and pepper. Oh, I think I'm gonna make a piece of toast too to go with it, cause why not? I love this bread. Y'all know and love her at this point. I mean, I use it every day. I think I'm gonna use some jelly that I got in Italy. Our Airbnb host actually left us a bunch of these little containers of a little like fruit jam jelly situation. So I wanna crack this open and put it on some toast and eat it with my omelet. I don't know if those things are gonna go together, but I don't really care. Also, I refuse to cut the mushrooms on a cutting board because then I have to wash the cutting board. So I will be cutting them on my plate and I know that you're not supposed to do that, but I, are y'all gonna come and wash the cutting board for me? No, I just don't feel like washing another freaking thing. Let's begin. Gonna scramble up the eggs in this mug and then once I do that, things move pretty fast. So let's just, let's just do it. Today's Thursday, by the way, so we have one more day. Tomorrow will be oatmeal day. I know y'all been worried. I know y'all been wondering since I mentioned oatmeal at the beginning. I know you have. You don't have to say it. looks good but it tastes good like I don't know what to say this one's a bit of a gamble because I haven't made this before and I don't know if I did any of it right but tastes fine to me I love mushrooms not the drugs though tastes good to me I don't know it doesn't look good but nothing I make ever looks good I gotta work on plating if I'm gonna do videos like this because I'm like y'all just gotta trust me that the flavor's there because it doesn't look like it Okay, welcome to the final recipe of this video and one of my favorites. This is a staple. I start with old-fashioned oats and then I cut up an apple. I love adding apple to this. I obviously also add milk to the oats and then I put them in the microwave for five minutes total. Also, make sure to watch this because it will boil over if you don't. Once I take them out of the microwave, I add a little bit of butter. I add a little spoonful of peanut butter cinnamon obviously i add a tablespoon of brown sugar and then i go ahead and mix that up really well i then break up some pieces of nuts i'll either use pecans or i'm using walnuts in this case because i don't have any pecans mix that up again and then my favorite thing the final touch is my greek yogurt i use this chobani non-fat vanilla greek yogurt it is the best it makes it literally taste like dessert it's like an apple dessert This is actually the reason I live. Wow, this is the clearest computer camera I've ever seen. I can like see my pores. This is my first time recording on here. I never know where to look because I know you're supposed to look up there, but then I feel like my eyes are like, you know? Anyway, we've reached the end of this video. I feel like I kind of procrastinated editing this just because I was nervous because it 
has to do with food and to be honest I know I show my cooking segments and vlogs and stuff but I just get nervous about people's input when it comes to food because I just feel like everyone has an opinion and I don't know anything like I am not a nutritionist I am not an expert like this isn't supposed to be how to eat healthy or like any of that like it's I am not the epitome of health. I just do what works for me and what I enjoy and that's what I wanted to share. Literally nothing else. This is not advice. This is not how to eat healthy. This is not what you should do or this is not like I literally don't know anything. So I thought that this would be fun and I had a lot of fun making this. I would love to do more of these in the future if y'all would want to see them. I keep looking at different places because I just don't. I would love to do more of these in the future and like try out different recipes in them that would be fun i don't know what is healthy or like what you're supposed to be eating or i don't know and this is just what i do and that's it so take it or leave it that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this one i know it's a little different so changing some things up trying some new things let me know what you thought let me know if you want to see more videos like this because i would be happy to make them because this was fun if you stayed to this point in the video comment down below i'm a real one because you're a real one i love you so much i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and i will see you guys in my next video bye